I think security sector folk is central. Um, much of the talk that's gone on has um, so far has focused on the need for Zimbabwe to stage a free and fair election, and that they will, this will somehow move the country on. But I think what brought us to this stage was um, the intervention of um, the military in the first place. So we have to think about how to reform the military so it does not behave this way again in the future. But still having said that, I think this is why I brought up security sector reform at the start of my answer. I think that the, the police and the intelligence services, have, uh, the intelligence services have also behaved in ways that have been undemocratic in the past. And I think these institutions are in need of reform too. So security sector reform to me is essential um, in terms of really moving um, Zimbabwe forward. And then secondly, there's been, there's always a long history of political violence. And I think there are issues around transitional justice um, that warrant attention there too, um, before there can be a genuine uh, moving on in Zimbabwe.